Denise here from NAC Training, and I'm going to show you how you can file share in Teams using various ways. There are some best practices when you are sharing within the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. The first thing we need to talk about is when we are file sharing, we are either using our OneDrive, which is great for personal file storage and sharing, or we are using SharePoint. And SharePoint is ideal for team collaboration, sharing files within and outside of your organization. Therefore, when we first look at sharing out of our OneDrive, we have to make sure that our permissions are set so that we can have the individuals use them as we need to. Do they need to be able to edit? Can they only view? Should there be an expiration date on how long they can look at it? Let's look at that. Here, I am inside of my OneDrive on my desktop. I'm syncing my OneDrive to my file explorer. I want to open up this transportation plan. It's a Word document. When I do, it opens up and it gives me the ability to share in the top right corner. When I click on this share, I can copy a link. I can decide who I want to share it with and change any permissions and then I can manage access as well. So if I click on to share, I can put in someone's email address right here. And then I can click on the pencil and I can change their permissions. Can edit, can review, can view, or can't download. Another way to change permissions is to click on this gear right here. When I do so, it goes a little bit further and it says this link will work for anyone, only the people within my organization, only people with existing access, people I choose, and then we can change once again whether they can make any changes to it or only view, and I can set an expiration date. Permissions are very important when you are using file sharing inside of Microsoft 365. I can now take this link and apply to only people in ACT training and copy the link. And now I can send this in an email. I can send it in a Teams message, what have you. And I can open up my email and I can take my link and paste it in and send it so that people can view this document. That is one way to share a file in Teams. Another way is to go into a team and choose a channel. So I'm on this Project Houston planning channel and I can choose to start a post. And when this appears, I have the option using this plus sign right here to attach a file. It gives me some options. I can attach cloud files, I can browse my teams and channels, or I can upload from this device. I'm going to choose to upload from this device. Here is my transportation plan. I'm going to choose open and it's now being added to this channel. And when I click post, this file will now be added into this SharePoint document library as well. So I can choose files. And you can see in the document library called planning, the transportation plan has showed up there as a new file that has been added. Another way that you can share a file inside of a Teams channel or chat is if you receive an email that has an attachment or this email is very important. Inside of your Outlook, there is the option to send it to a team. So I'm inside of the email and I'm going to click on my Teams button icon, and it gives me options. Share to Teams or chat with Amanda, chat with Amanda, Miguel, and Noah, who are all on this email, or schedule a meeting. I just wanna share it to our joint Teams, so I'm gonna click on that. And it gives me the option of which team I want to share it to. I'm going to share it with Project Acadia, Notice the email 
is included and it's asking, do you want to include the attachments? So yes, because I want to share this file onto this project team. So I click share. The email is on its way. I can even use the shortcut link to go to the Teams. And as you can see, it is now showing in this planning channel. I hope you learned some things today about file sharing options. Just to review, you can share a link from your own personal OneDrive. You can change the permissions on the link. You can add that to a team chat or channel. You can add it to an email. You can also upload a file directly from your OneDrive or from your computer to a chat or channel inside of Teams. Or if you receive an email with an attachment, you can send that using the Teams icon inside of Outlook to a specific team of your choosing.